Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are getting started on episode 11. And in this episode, it's going to be pretty easy, pretty quick. We're going to be learning about custom items, and we're going to be making some custom items, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub, so you guys are having some trouble. Just go over there, check it out. It'll all be there. So first things first, we're going to use our My Events class, which we have been using pretty much in every episode now. And let's just go ahead and say public void block break. And we'll say block break event event. And let's say if a player breaks a diamond or a block that they are going to get five diamonds on top of, or let's say they're going to get, yeah, they're going to get five diamonds. So let's go ahead and say block block equals event dot get block then let's go ahead and say player player equals event dot get player okay so now that we have the block break event and let's go ahead and say if block dot get type dot equals material dot diamond so if it equals material dot diamond let's go ahead and create a new item stack We'll call this item stack equals a new item stack. Now there's a few different ways you can do item stacks. We can do it with the, just the material name. So we can say just that. And we actually want to make sure we change this to uh, diamond ore because that's what it is. So we can change it to just material dot diamond. Or if we want to set the amount, we can do that. And then if we wanted to set the damage, uh, usually this is only for items that can actually take damage. So like armor, tools, that kind of stuff. You would say short, and then how much damage you wanted it to have. But we're not gonna be doing it since we're only dropping diamonds. Cool. And so now what we can do is we can go ahead and say player dot get inventory dot add item, item stack. And now let's go to our main class here this uh, get server dot get plugin manager that register events new my events and this and now we can go ahead and install this so let's get episode 11 which is for some reason not over here okay interesting i guess we will let's refresh see if we can find it yet huh very interesting Okay, I guess we'll just do art build artifacts just because to save time. Oh, we forgot to add a at event handler there. That would help. So now let's drop this diamond here. Now if we break that, there we go. Now we got our two diamonds and then our three diamonds. And so now if we wanted to make this a custom item or a more custom item, all we have to do is just get the item meta. So we'll say item meta, meta equals item stack dot get item meta. And now we can go ahead and say meta dot set display name. We'll say check color dot aqua plus diamond. And now we can add, we can create the lore, which is done by creating a string list and we'll say lore equals a new array list. Cool. And then let's just import this. I think I'm getting killed by a skeleton. Totally not sure. Um, cool. Now we'll say lore. And now we can say lore.add. And we'll say this is a diamond. Lore.add value, oops, value ten dollars, and then we'll just uh, say chat color dot green just so we uh, have something a little different there, just so you can see the difference. And then we'll just go ahead and say item stack dot set lore, or sorry, not item stack, meta 
dot set lore lore and now we'll say item stack dot set item meta meta and so now we re-export this and we reload our server sorry our plane flew over and so let's uh let's dump these old diamonds and now if we break you can see that we have our two custom diamonds valued at ten dollars and this is a diamond and then just the normal diamond uh we'll learn about how we can replace block drops in another video um but yeah that's all i got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and in the next episode we'll learn how we can create some recipes so we can start uh creating these more custom items for your server and having players be able to craft them so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time